Welcome to Data Embassy. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a radio stacked bar chart. This chart is a alternative of the regular stacked bar chart. This is a regular stacked bar chart. Uh, one the dimension is periodical. It would be interesting to show it in the radio way, that is uh, on a circle. So first, union with the cell. So this create a new column called the uh, table name. And let's set. So this actually will help us to define a 100 point. Okay, this will define the first and the number 100 point. The idea is to create a, a pass of 100 point and to create the, the polygon or with the contour of 100 point. So with the first and the last point created, and with this being of size one, then we can define 100 point. And here, so each block here is a polygon. So we will create a polygon, for example, from here, to here, so this curve, and then from here to here, and then back to this point okay, with uh, 100 point. Actually, it's a 50 point here and a 50 point back here. We have uh, defined 100 point. Well, we only have two points. Then drag it uh, here. We want to make it a month. And uh, we segment color. And now let's create first a few index for the points. Hit month index in the date. Here it is the month. Let's create a percentage. Okay, some say. Yes, divide by some fixed year or the date month or the date sun sales divide by two here because we union the two tables so the sum of uh, sales has been doubled and we want to create the running sum we will explain a little bit later why we want to create a running sum is we are along the segment. The reason is when we define the say this point and we know how the percentage of uh, this segment, then when we go to this one, we not only need the, to know the percentage of this segment, we want to add this up and then add this up to get the point uh, along the X of segment. And we also need to duplicate, need to have uh, the previous set okay, with previous minus one and also with the cn function to make it a zero one it's now rename it to be previous and uh, we also need to when you know for the first 50 point we else and the max previous okay for the second 50 points we need to use uh, the previous percent Around the point. The idea is when we created the, the size of all this point, the upper curve, the first 50 points, uh, the radius is based on this one. When we created the points for this, the radius is based on a previous radius. Well, we already defined the uh, two parameters. Yeah. So this is called the radius inner. Inner is about this circle, and uh, the radius outer is about. Uh, this the size of uh, from here to here so this is a parameter there are two parameters one is uh, defining the inner one and the other is defining the outer one so now both of them are 100 let's, uh, let's define the final radius which is uh, radius uh, inner plus radius outer multiply by running percent radius angle is if index less than 50 and index p is 1 else 100 minus p then divide by 50 because we have 50 point and each each point has a difference of uh, this uh, much degree on the circle plus months for each month we will have a shift of uh, one month. This whole thing will be multiplied by, by two pi over 12. It's actually one pi over six. So this define 
the, the radial degree of each point. With this, we are ready to calculate the coordinate. And it's sine angle multiplied by radius duplicate and we make this y and cosine let's drag this here drag this here make this polygon oh we need to put this into pass voila we got the radio stack bar and i want to show you here actually because we set a lot of things to be default so each x is actually depend on five table calculations each calculation so this one is calculated the along point beam this is along the months and this radio is along the point beam this one is along the segment and this one is also along the segment that's it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time